Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have two hauls here that I'm going to combine and show you today. Um, I got something at uh, Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. And um, Hobby Lobby actually had so much good stuff for Valentine's that I want to go back. Um, so I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby. I didn't buy a lot um, this time around, but I would like to go back and get some more stuff for my uh, tear tray because um, I want to do a Valentine one and they had excellent stuff. So I'm going to start with it and I plan on um, hosting a swap on Swapbot for um, a pocket letter, a Valentine pocket letter. Um, actually, I want to do two. I want to host a winter one and a Valentine one. And so I thought I might need some new Valentine papers and I picked up some. I like that one. I think that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So I'm planning on using that one and this one. That one's pretty too. And I like that these are um, red, white, pink, and they have black as well. So I like that. And then the third one I got looks like that. So I think that um, whether I decide to host a nine pocket or a three pocket or whatever, I think that these will look good together and I can combine them with um, um, papers that I already have. But I'm really, really liking the black included with the red, pink, and white. I think that's nice. So that's why I got those. Um, and let's see. I got some stickers. They had some excellent stickers. Um, I love these. It's pre pretty little, well, the glare. Sorry about the glare. Pretty uh, heart stickers of all kinds. Um, you got, what have we got here? Stripes and swirlies and flowers and polka dots and various colors. And I just think those are beautiful. And I like having some smaller um, type Valentines and hearts because um, you can actually use them for things other, other than Valentines and um, the little hearts. So I like to have all kinds of sizes and the small ones are great for making ATCs and things like that. So I got those and I got these, which are awesome. These are multicolor glitter heart stickers. They are so pretty. Love these. They're kind of raised up a bit. If you can, I don't know if you can tell. Just a little bit puffy and really, really gorgeous. So I plan on using those probably in my pocket letter. Or if not, in some other project. So I got those. And I picked up... Um, these little die cuts, there are 90 pieces, so um, 30 of each color. And they look like that, and those are gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen these in Hobby Lobby before, um, but I like that you get dogs barking. <laughs> oh my goodness. My husband just took some of the dogs out to use the bathroom, and so when they came back in, the other dogs had to act like they didn't know who they were, so they had to bark. But anyway, getting back to these, I have, um, I don't think I've ever seen these before, and I really like that you get the red ones with the gold, the um, hot pink with the gold, and you get like the baby pink with gold. So you get all the colors, and I plan on using those in a pocket letter. And my next thing I got, I probably will want to go back and get some more of these. It's the little wooden conversation hearts. Look how cute those are. Those are so cute. You get lots of colors, just like the candies. Same colors as the candies. Be sweet, love you. Cutie pie. They say the actual things that the real conversation hearts say. So that's kind of cool. 
really, really cool. And you get, let's see how many are in here, 45. So that's not bad for $1.99 and it's 40% off. And the last thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby was something for my tear tray. And it's this, and that is awesome. That is so cool. I can't wait to decorate and put that on there. I mean, it's just perfect for a coffee, tea, hot chocolate bar. And I like what it says, love is brewing. Because love is always brewing around this house. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm just saying that because hubby's sitting in front of me on the couch. <laughs> I have to bother him a little bit. But anyway, isn't that cute? That is so cute, and it's nice and heavy duty. Look how thick it is. And that'll go great on a tear tray. And by the way, if you don't have a tear tray, I noticed that Hobby Lobby has heart-shaped ones. Um, they have, um, I don't remember, I think that the they were um, like black. The stem was like black, and then the little hearts were blue. The smaller one looked like it was probably about that big, and the bigger one might have been that big. So it was kind of a small tear tray, but it was cute. So that's all I got at Hobby Lobby at the moment, and the rest I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Um, I found, found some really cute stuff there, and actually I bought quite a bit. Um, first of all, I got this Sweet Vanilla Rose Bar Soap by Bolero. Looks like that. Pretty big bar, and it smells divine. I don't smell, I don't smell the vanilla, but I smell rose. So it's very nice. And I got two of those so that I could have one, and I could make my mom like a little gift basket for Valentine's. So, very cute. And then the next thing I got at Dollar Tree, um, well, picked up some extra Tylenol. Always need that. I don't mind if it's generic. I know some people um, don't like generic, but, you know, if you look at the ingredients, it's the exact same thing. So, I don't see what the big deal is, but they can do themselves and I'll do myself. Uh <laughs> I picked up these um, laser cut craft icons to use in pocket letters, junk journals. Um, you could put them on an ATC, any kind of little project you have. And those are very pretty. And you get six pieces. And I don't know, I know they've had Valentine's before, well, hearts before. I'm not sure they've had these exact patterns, which that middle one's hard to see. Now, I can't adjust it, so you can, maybe you can see it better now. And the next thing I got was I found some cloth, which I thought was real cute. It'd make a really cute, like, spring or um, a summer junk journal cover. Or um, you could use it inside a junk journal. Or you may be able to think of something else to use it for. I would use it for a cover or just as a page or belly band inside of a junk journal. I'll try to get it open so you can see it. I just thought it was so cute. <clears throat> and it looks like that. Isn't that adorable? Look at those little campers. I wish I had a little camper. One big enough for my husband and our four dogs. That's really, really cute. I think I'd pick that little blue one if I could pick one. Because blue is my favorite color. But yeah, so that would be excellent for different projects. And I think it's cool that Dollar Tree um, started having cloth. Because I remember when they didn't have stuff like that. And 
Now I love that they do because they usually have pretty cute stuff. Speaking of cute stuff, I picked up um, this ribbon. I haven't seen this before. I think this is a new one. Sorry about the glare. And I'm not sure what that little critter is. Um, I don't know what he is, but he's cute anyway. I thought at first it was a hedgehog, but it's not. Maybe a little, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but he's very, very cute. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, um, well, I think one is not here. Hold on. Where is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked up some doilies, all the colors they had, red, pink, and white, and those are always great in junk journals, various paper crafting projects, and I, they had two sizes, the big ones and the small ones, and I like these better, the small ones, so I picked those up, and you get a lot in there, 30 per, per package. And the next thing I got was the DIY stickers. I don't think I've seen the ones with cupids before, so I thought that was really cute. And I'm going to use those in the pocket letter that I plan to make. And um, I'll probably um, color them red. Use my markers or paints or something and color them red. Maybe pink. Most likely red. But anyway, I don't think they've had those before. I think that's a new thing. And the next thing I got, I'm pretty sure they've had before. Um, I think I got these once in pink with the pink hearts. Um, and this year they had bigger bags that had lots of hearts in a row but I just picked up this size because I thought those were really cute. And my dog's staring at me. Yes, you're so clever. You want to get up here? Come on. Get up here. You want to be in my video? Get up here. No. Apparently, he, he does not. He, he wants... Oh, now he's trying. Come on. Okay. There you go. There we go. Here's Busy. That's what I call him. Here's Bismarck. Yep. Oh, he smells my lipstick. Mm, no, can't eat it. Yep. Look at the camera. Look, look, look. Yeah, say hi. Say hi. There you are. He's saying, I don't care. <laughs> he probably wants something to eat. <laughs> anyway, he's a sweet boy. And the next thing I got there was some stickers. I picked up these, which I thought were very cute. I think these are new. I don't recall seeing those any other years. Um, I like the, you're bootyful. <laughs> I can't believe I had that. <laughs> uh, and on the back, it looks like that. You get these. Look at that cute little bee. I love bees. Looks like that. And the next set I got looks like this. And I'm pretty sure they haven't had these either. There's another bee. And I love the typewriter with the heart on the paper. That is so cute. And on the back, it looks like that. Little, little milk guy. Milk and I guess that's, what is that, cookies? I guess that's supposed to be cookies. Just drink your milk and have your cookies. Look at the paper airplanes. Anyway, those are very cute. And the next thing I got, I'm always looking at coloring books for adults. And I found this one. Um... I'm not sure if I have this one already because I have a, a whole lot. I have a great big huge stack. But um, I love this because I love trees. And trees are one of my favorite things to color, actually. 
I don't know why I just really like color them and um, sometimes I'll do them in different greens the same tree <laughs> or do the leaves different colors green or I may do something funky like a purple tree with pink leaves or whatever but I um, I'm not sure like I said if I have this but if I do it's okay because I'll just color this one again so I picked up that one and I found one that I wanted before, before Christmas, and I couldn't find it before Christmas, but I got it when I went to Dollar Tree last week. So that's the Winter Wonderland. And I think I see this guy in another book, but I'm not sure. It's got some really cute pages. Um <clears throat> Some of you may already have this one. Nice wintry stuff to color. Um, if I could turn, if I could turn the pages. Oh well. <laughs> Trust me, they're in there. <laughs> and the next thing I got, I was looking for. Um, weeks ago because I saw somebody else haul them and I could not find these things anywhere and so I finally found them after Christmas. I wanted them before Christmas because I was going to put them in stockings and stuff. But I finally found them at one of my Dollar Trees and that is the Flavored Lip Glosses um, Blueberry Blast. It's from, well, they're all Taste Squad. It looks like that with a little alien. Isn't that adorable? I wanted these so bad, and I could not find them anywhere. So I was finally um, able to get them, and I was so glad. And the next one looks like this, and it is Passion Fruit Punch. So you got a cute little cup and straw. Very, very cute. These would have made great stocking stuffers, but they'd be great in a Valentine um, gift bag or gift box or, or something like that if you just want to give somebody a little treat. And the next one is Mocha Latte, and it looks like that. That's so adorable. I just love little things like that, like little miniature type things. And the next one is, whoops, the last one probably is my favorite. It's Candy Bar Crunch, and it looks like that. So, so cute. And I don't know if I'm going to give them away or if I'm going to keep them. I'll probably end up keeping all of them because I have a thing for lip glosses and stuff like that. And uh, last thing in this bag, nope, nope, not the last thing. I also got some ribbon that looks like that because I thought that would be good for a whole lot of things, especially junk journaling. And I haven't seen this one. They had it in a green, which I liked, but the black was more practical for what I needed it for. And I got some cards, some Valentine's cards, but actually I didn't um, see that many that I wanted. And so I really just got um, this one for my dad. It says, Dad, your love so much. Looks like that. And inside it says, because it's Valentine's Day, just wanted to tell you how much you're appreciated and how much you're loved today and every day. Got that for my daddy. And the next one I got for someone that's over on the couch, but he's going to sleep. So if he doesn't look, don't look. <laughs> I got that one for him. You can see what it says. I'm not going to read it. And how appropriate is that considering what we own? And then on the inside, it says that. Don't look. I see you raise your head. Do not look. 
<laughs> He's over here trying to look or something. Good gosh. Uh. And then the last one I got for my mom, and it says, Jesus Calling. I thought that was pretty cool. And inside it says, Rem Reminding you you're perfectly loved. Happy Valentine's, Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got, um, nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 39. And it looks like that on the inside. So, I only got three Valentine's cards at this particular Dollar Tree. And let's see. Last thing in that bag was I decided that I needed... A pocket calendar, pocketbook calendar. Um, I used to carry one all the time, but I haven't in years, but I really have a lot of appointments and things nowadays, so I decided to get myself one, and of course, I had to get the one with the cute little puppy on it. So, that's my first bag. Let me know in the comments which one of these that you like looks of which one you would want if you could find one which one's your favorite and I'm just gonna move this stuff so I could have room to pull out more um, how's everybody feeling on Monday I was thinking it's Tuesday, but then I realized that no, nah, Tuesday's not going to be a pleasant day because I have to go and start my whole implant, tooth implant procedure, and I'm not looking forward to that, so <laughs> I wish Tuesday was over so the whole process would be finished, or at least the first part. And the next thing I got at Dollar Tree is... I bought some cinnamon-flavored hard candies, Coastal Bay Confections, and this is a big bag, 12 ounces. There's a lot in there, and these are good, really good. I love cinnamon anything. So picked up that big bag. I'm going to give my dad um, some for Valentine's and whatever I make up for him. Oh, Busy wants the candy. No, you can't have Oh, he shook his head. <laughs> he was I like the way it smelled. <laughs> I got these for Hubby because he uses these. Like the nice red caps. Fits with Valentine's. <laughs> um, and I found, let's see. I found some more eyelash trim, which our um, stores don't seem to have around here. And um, I see people using a lot online in their um, projects and things. So I found some, um, this gray, pretty gray, and I picked it up. They had another color, but um, I think it was yellow or something like that, and that just didn't appeal to me. So I got this one. And... I'm kind of random with this. I'm just pulling out things from the bag. Um, I found another ribbon that I liked. This one. And I like this because it's got that crafty, almost crafty color paper background. You know, crafty color, tacky color, whatever. And that other one I showed you, it did too, which I don't know what happened to us in this bag somewhere. Those will be great if you were making like a vintage um, uh, junk journal or some kind of vintage paper crafting thing, um, that would be perfect. And the next one I thought was really cute. I don't think they've had this before either. Actually, I think all those are new. It says, I picked you and it's got the hearts and it's in that um, crafty color as well. So I picked that one up. And the last one that I got of the smaller ones looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little hearts linked. 
um, Chip, mm. don't snore. <laughs> it's falling asleep and be snoring in my video. Oh my gosh. But it looks like that. And I found those before, the little hearts like that before. And the last ribbon I got is a large one. Um, I thought it was really cute. You're my person with a little, um, I guess that's a little, yeah, it's still the little truck, but a little black truck with the hearts floating out. That is really cute. And I'll probably get hubby to make me a great big bow for that to put on a wreath or to put on my tear tray. So that's why I got that. And the next thing I got was a pair of very, very soft socks. These are so cuddly and soft. I can't wait to wear these because my feet get cold. And if my feet are cold at night, I can't sleep. So these are wonderful, very soft. And the next thing I got, um, I picked up this cool um, flower sack towel. I like that Dollar Tree started doing that um, because I think that these actually absorb water and the ones that they have, that they've had for years now, those are what my son used to call broken. <laughs> when he was a small ch child, he uh, we had this uh, yellow, I still remember the color, um, towel and um, he asked us, he took a shower bath one day and asked what was wrong with the towel. And we said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, it's broken. <laughs> and what he meant was it wouldn't absorb water that well. So <laughs> he called it broken. He was very, very small. But we haven't ever forgotten that. So when we find a towel or a hand towel, dish towel, whatever that's like that, we say that it's broken. <laughs> so anyway... Um, this one is probably going to go to my mom for, um, in her little Valentine gifty thing. It says, will you be my Valentine? W-H-E-E-L. That is so cute. So, so cute. I love that basket. Basket of Valentines. Bas basket of hearts. That is adorable. So, I picked that up for her, and she's supposed to watch my videos, but she seldom does, so she's not going to see this. I keep after her, but um, I think she forgets. Next thing I got was I got picked up two of these because um, I need to organize some of my crafting stuff, and I'm going to put things in here until I get my craft room together. So, got that. And the last two things I picked up on this haul, I thought were amazing. So, so incredibly cute. And that is the Heartbreaker Beetle Bug. And actually, my parents owned one of these when I was very, very small. It was not pink, though. It was like a, um, kind of like a beigey cream color um, but anyway this is gorgeous and it's made out of tin you can hang it up or you could take this off if you wanted to or probably bend it back so you couldn't see it if you wanted to do that temporarily and i think that'd be cute um not just hanging up but on a tear tray so that's probably what, where i'm gonna put mine so not only did they have this beautiful thing but they had this one as well. And you know how I feel about the little red truck. That is so cute. Look at it. Look. That reminds me of like heart balloons. Like it's full of heart balloons. That's adorable. And I'm going to put that somewhere with my tear tray. And if you want to see how they look together, they're like that. That is stinking cute. 
So you better hurry because these will be gone fast. When I got mine um, last week, there was this one. That was the only one left. And there were probably one or two of these left. So your stores are probably running out as well. So if you want them, you better get down there now and pick these up before you don't get a chance. And that is the end of my haul. Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you will stick with me and check out my next video. Um, I haven't filmed that yet, but um, I'll have that ready for you. Hopefully, um, towards the end of the week, I do have to have oral surgery tomorrow. So, um, I don't know how I'll feel, but um, I'm going to try to get something filmed and posted for you guys. Um, and other than that, sorry, thirsty. I'm going to show you my shirt. See the elephants? The African elephants. That's my favorite. And it says three, two, one, and, and then they were gone. Three, two, one, and then they were gone. And I love it. This is one of my favorite shirts because elephants are my favorite wild animal. And I'm always worried about them disappearing. And I have on, I don't know if you, how well you can see it, I have on one of my elephant necklaces today. This is actually a very long necklace. And so what I did was I kind of looped it around like that so it wouldn't hang as far down because I didn't like it that way. Um, but anyway, I have that. And then I have on my elephant earrings. So, my elephant shirt, my elephant necklace, and my elephant earrings. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and I got to get out of here and get supper fixed, or my husband will be hungry. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm kind of nervous about uh, going to have my tooth yanked out, but um, it'll be okay. So... Take care, I'll see you later, and thanks for watching.